This is an online video tutorial that will show you how to use your Easy Touch glucose and cholesterol monitor. When you receive your package, it should contain the following items. You should have an Easy Touch glucose and cholesterol monitor, complete with batteries already installed. You will have th lancets used to prick your finger to get your blood sample. You will have two glucose test strips and uh, a glucose code key which are coloured green and you'll also have a cholesterol test strip and cholesterol code key which is coloured blue. Now you may have ordered additional test strips in which case you'll have extra in the bags provided. You'll also have a lifestyle check results card which um, you can write on and keep as a record of your results. And then underneath your foam inserts, you'll find we have a sticky label, returns label, so with the postage prepaid, so you're able to just unstick that and pop that on the box to send the equipment back to us, and also your invoice as well, which is obviously yours to keep. So we're going to now take our total cholesterol level, so we're going to be using the monitor, and we're going to need our blue test strip and blue code key, which is the cholesterol test strip and code key. So you can take this out of the bag. And what we need to do first is we're going to insert the code key into the back of the monitor. So on the back of the monitor, on the top left hand side, you'll see a small slot. This code key fits in. There's only one way around it will fit. Slots in quite easily to the, te to the monitor. And that tells the monitor what test strip you're using and tells it that you're, you're measuring a cholesterol level and not a glucose level. So once we've primed the monitor, the next thing we're going to do is look at the test strip. Now our test strip has three key areas. We've got these, this white bar running along the middle there. That is where our blood sample goes. Our blood sample goes in at the sides, either side, and is soaked along this white area. And you'll see the blood get soaked through and this white area will turn into a red area. We've also got a barcode area down the bottom. This is the part that inserts into the monitor. And we've also got a guide as to how much blood sample you need. So you need something the size of this circle showing at the top of the test strip. So we can now go ahead and put the test strip into our monitor. So it slots into the top middle part of the monitor. And you'll see that when it does, the monitor springs to life and starts flashing that symbol which says that it's ready to receive the blood sample. So we can now go ahead and prick our finger, but the first thing we're not going to want to do is to go and wash our hands and make sure that we've got nice clean hands because that reduces the risk of infection, but also if we use nice warm soapy water, that's going to increase the blood flow to our fingers, ensuring we get a good blood supply from the finger prick. So we're then going to take our blood sample and you're going to need your lancet. So remove the yellow cap. Hold the lancet flush with your finger. You'll hear a click as you push down on the white top and the blood should start forming. Now stop, don't um, try not to squeeze too much um, because it bleed as naturally as possible. It should start bleeding quite well on its own. Once we've got enough, we're just going to literally hold the, this up. It may help you to do it flat down on the on a surface I'm just holding it up for the camera once we've got that looks about the right size of blood we're going to hold this against the side and you watch it soak through and we've got enough blood there to start counting down and the monitor starts counting down from 140 It's a good idea to have a piece of tissue present or a bit of cotton wool and then you can just um, press down on your finger to stop the bleeding. So we're now just counting down the last few seconds of our cholesterol measurement. Uh, it takes about 150 seconds and once it's counted down you'll see your total cholesterol level is displayed, so 4.7. So what you can then do is on your results card like so is just write down 
against there, and that's your record of your cholesterol level. So you can now take your test strip out of the machine, and together with your lancet and any tissue that you've used to, to mop up your, your blood, uh, that can all just be chucked away now. So we're now ready to go ahead and measure our glucose level and we're going to measure our fasting glucose level so that means that we're not going to eat or drink anything apart from water in the eight hours previous to this um, test. So most people find the best time to fast is overnight because you're asleep so you can do this thing first thing in the morning before you've had a cup of tea or coffee or anything to eat. Uh, obviously you're still allowed to, to drink water throughout this time but it's important that you don't eat any food. So we're going to take our glucose test strip and code key and just take these out of the bag provided. Now we've got two test strips for the glucose and that's because we're going to measure a fasting level and also you've got another one there in case you want to measure your non-fasting level and I'll explain the difference between the two in a short while. But for now we're just going to crack on and measure our fasting glucose level. So remember that's without eating or drinking for eight hours. So remove the cholesterol code key which you may have there from before. That needs to go back in a bag and that comes back in the box to us which, once you've finished and just insert the glucose code key which is the green coloured code key. And that again that only slots in in one way and fits in like so with the monitor. Right so we can then take our glucose test strip. Now on the test strip you'll see it has it's very similar to the cholesterol one we have uh, a barcode region we have this test area along the middle here um, and we have an arrow telling us which direction to apply the blood sample in so we can only go in from this side on the cholesterol you could go in from either side but it's important that on this glucose test strip you only go in from the side shown with the arrow so we're going to insert the test strip into the top of the monitor and like before the monitor springs to life and now displays that blood drop symbol uh, so we need to lance it next and just like before we're going to remove the yellow cap find a finger make sure our fingers are nice and clean and that we've washed them and hold the lancet against the finger push down on the white top you'll hear a click and your blood sample will start to come. Now you don't need as big a blood sample as the cholesterol test and again try not to encourage the bleeding too much. So getting quite a good and all we're going to do is introduce this blood sample to this side and you'll see it soak up straight along and it starts counting down, it only takes 10 seconds, so it's a lot quicker and you'll see the glucose level is 5.7 so once again put your monitor to one side grab a piece of tissue, hold down on your finger nice and solid remember you can now discard your test strip so remove that from the monitor together with your piece of tissue and your lancet that's now used that can all be thrown away you can write down your result on your results card against fasting glucose mine was 5.7 so now I've got my cholesterol and my fasting glucose I'm now ready to go ahead and measure my non-fasting glucose level. Now you'll find that you'll have two test strips for glucose and that allows you the opportunity to measure um, your oral glucose tolerance. Uh, basically what this is, is it tests for a pre-diabetic condition known as impaired glucose tolerance. So what you will need to do is you'll need to purchase some Leucosade Original Energy Drink. Now this Leucosade is predominantly made up of glucose so we know that if we drink uh, a certain amount of this glucosate we're going to be putting a certain amount of glucose into our body and we're going to see how our body uh, reacts to that glucose and gets rid of that glucose after a two hour period 
and that can tell us a lot about our uh, future risk of getting diabetes because we can see how well the body's pancreas is working to clear that glucose from our bloodstream. So what you need to do is you need to follow on from your fasting glucose, you need to be in the fasting state and what you're going to need to do is measure out 410 millilitres of Leucosade original energy drink. Now once you've measured this out you can either measure this out in a measuring jug or you can do it on some weighing scales and measure 410 grams um, but you're looking to to get 410 millilitres. Uh, this is only appropriate for people that are non-diabetic so if you've been diagnosed with diabetes by a doctor uh, before then don't do this test. Also this amount 410 is only valid for adults over 18 so don't do this test uh, if you're under 18 uh, as the, the figures aren't, aren't right. Okay, so you're going to then drink your 410 millilitres of Leucosade within a five minute period. Now it's quite important that you drink this quite quickly within those five minutes as we're trying to get that glucose into your body in one hit. As soon as you finish drinking that 410 millilitres of Leucosade original, then you're going to start a stopwatch or note the time because you, what you need to do is you need to retest your glucose level um, two, directly two hours after you consumed your leucoside. So two hours to the, to the minute that you finished drinking your leucoside, you're then going to repeat your glucose test by again inserting your glucose test strip into the top, waiting for the blood sample to flash at you, Take your other lancet, prick your finger again and introduce the blood sample to the test strip here and within 10 seconds you will get your um, non-fasting glucose results. It's non-fasting because you've had the, the leucosate at that point and then you can write it in here against your non-fasting glucose level.